Good evening, Ben and Jen. Officers and colleagues lined the parking lot to show their support for Officer James O'Donnell's return. After a year of recovery, surgeries, and physical therapy, he clocked in for his first shift at 3 p.m. today. O'Donnell says he's excited to be back. Officer James O'Donnell greeted with a round of applause Monday outside of Farmington PD headquarters as he returns back to work. It would be hard to tell that just last year the 32 year old was wheelchair bound. I told the chief right then and there that night in the emergency room that I was going to be back and I wasn't going to go against that promise. Almost one year ago to the day O'Donnell was seriously injured on duty after he was hit by a suspect accused of stealing catalytic converters off of cars in a condo complex. Oh, officer down, officer down. The moments captured on police cruiser dash cam. He just hit O'Donnell, he's taking off. 32 year old Pedro Acevedo suspected of injuring O'Donnell and arrested a couple of weeks after that day. Over the last year, a long road to recovery requiring multiple surgeries and physical therapy. My um, sacrum was shattered, my pelvis was fractured in four places, um, and I had two broken uh, bones in my foot as well. I had to relearn how to walk and change how I did things. Had a couple setbacks, but I still got through it. So to get him back here in, you know, in that amount of time is unbelievable. I know sometimes we look at it and we're like, Oh my God, he's been out for a year, like it's a long time. And then you think about it, you're like, it's only been a year with the injuries that he sustained. Really, really a, a testament to him. This is a guy who worked tirelessly to get back to what he loved to do. And Monday, he did just that. 3 p.m. setting off on his first 12-hour patrol shift back. Game Express, just the gratitude of everyone. I mean, it was... I, I mean, I got choked up. I can't be any more thankful to the chief and to the council and everybody here, everybody who came up from the surrounding towns. So it means a whole lot to me. Now, O'Donnell said he still has some more physical therapy to go, but he is doing well. As for the investigation, the chief says the criminal case is still underway, and much of that right now is in the courts. Live in the newsroom, Alicia Machado, Fox 61 News.